Hello, Barrys. Welcome to Diamond One EU West, and we are playing Yumi. I was first pick here, blind, love it. And uh, yeah, we're playing Yumi and we're with an AD carry Senna with Glacier Augment. Should probably go the Man Immune build. And we're against a Thresh and an Ezreal. So even if you get hooked here, the damage early on shouldn't be too bad. Is a press the attack Ezreal actually? Which kind of makes sense because, you know, he hasn't got too much damage early, but he should be able to put proc the press the attack to at least get a little bit more damage than he would have with, like, Conqueror. But it will mean that the Ezreal won't have as much healing in fights through the Conqueror. And... It should be a little bit less damage in lane as well until the actual engage happens to proc tr uh, press the attack. So we need to kind of factor that in in our trades. Where's AD Carry Center bad? It's not bad. It just takes ages to get online. So, and it's like scary into hard engage. So if Thresh into Sen is quite scary. Um, Thresh into Yumi is quite scary for me as well because Flay is an instant interrupt and will stop me from reattaching. So I need to be really careful here. And so does Senna. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with her and uh, get something going maybe. Later on to the game we can maybe stick onto the Hecarim or a Trindamere. So we can always forget about Senna for the mid to late game if needed for some reason if we have to. What are some of the best blind picks into enemy team with an Ezreal? On your team, not knowing the AD Kara support. So, if you have an Ezra in your team, some of the better blind pick options are. Okay, Thresh just took Flay, and he literally just took it. Uh, Yumi, um, Zyra, Soraka can be okay. Wouldn't really take a hard engage with a. With an Ezra, but you could maybe make Brom work. Oh, why didn't you move forward? It's quite the trade that they took there. Guys, has already used his potion. Fresh fleeing coming soon. Hmm. Close. Don't know if Thresh is. He could be roaming up to mid. Could potentially do a passive hit here. Just trying to figure out if I would die. I don't think I would die if I get flayed here. Hook would be bad. Yeah, I think we're okay. Shaco's around. Yeah, the enemy jungle has Shaco with Ignite, so... Lane's quite pushed in a little bit, so... Lantern with Shaco is looking like a possibility. We need to give that some respect. We have to pop heals straight away. As soon as any indication it looks like Shaco's here before he pops the Ignite on. Shame Top's already died 1v1. Can't really look to unattach at the moment. Shaker's top, okay. That was a bit of a lame Q I just did there. Try and shove this lane back in. 
Make it reset. Making Ezra for do an arcane shift there quite early is quite nice. Yeah. Fresh didn't get a lot there for that flay. If you got a hook there, it would have been kind of close to the turret. Like, wards aren't going to help a huge amount here. I can't ward that brush without risk getting hooked or either. It's a shame she backed off there. Try and get another passive hit him. It's pretty low. That's lantern and cooldown, so we know that Shaco is not going to be down for another 20 seconds. Well, he could come down, but I don't think you get anything. Once again, we need to try and reset this lane. She sits still there to do an auto attack. Shaker's on this side of the map. Yeah, don't leave. There's no point leaving. I know she wants tear. We can play this. Oh, you gotta flash that though. Okay, we get two. Um, yeah, that might do it. Nice. And healing the car for them ensures that I get the uh, an assist there as well. Okay. Overall, that's pretty huge. We this lane is pushing in though. I need to recall. It's a very fed carcass now. I really need to recall. Okay, Carthus is really fed. The next all he's gonna do is gonna do a lot of damage. Just top lane I'm a bit concerned about, but <clears throat> maybe we'll be okay. If Senna wants to stay here last season, she needs to how long to mana I mean? I don't really want to leave her by herself. Okay. Okay. My bad. Why is my brain derping on the home guards, man? Got a lot of gold there. That was a really stupid death. Sometimes my, my brain is working off old um, recall timers from 
So the, about two patches ago, they added it so if you died pre-20 minutes, you get a movement speed boost moving it if you're base. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I just won't be here quite yet. Oh. <laughs> All right, but yeah. That's a very, very clumsy death. Senna should be looking to recall soon for... Man immune. Try and get some wards down before we actually have to recall. Because then I can get some more charges. Oh, that's a nice combo. Where was Thresh during that? I'm surprised he wasn't here. Alright, let's get out of there. Pretty decent start overall. Calf has helped us out quite a bit. Fine. I could have probably sold the potion for a fairy charm, but that's okay. This is a really strong start. Could have also got Dark Seal instead of a fairy charm. That would have been okay as well. Solar lanes aren't doing too great, so we kind of got to win bot properly. Oh, she's in range there. Flash mid, as flash. Maybe I should have put a control in that brush just to get vision through. <coughs> Execution is on Israel. Uh, I'm not in range. Can you come to me and pick me up? Whoa. Okay. Got feared by that Shaco box. Seneca so maybe get one hit, one more auto. Mm. It's a fed Winnie the Pooh, anyway. Could still go Dark Seal. Oh, I think I'd rather have the cooldown reduction. Although it's a shame Center Flash. Actually, I think if she actually had it for that team fight, that would have been a lot smoother. Not in terms of that she needed to survive, but to help catch them out a little bit more. Hey, lady. By the time I get down here, people are going to start resetting. This is looking pretty good for our team though. Time to find a new friend. Uh. Yeah. Oh, kidding me. Yeah. Got a car nearby. I can use him if I need to. Cope with no ice. I didn't have time. Plus, ice is noisy on the microphone. Ooh, 
time thing is looking a bit paranoid. Nice. Pretty clean overall. Burns his stopwatch as well. Yeah, it's a lot of deaths this game. <laughs> as soon as I say that, someone else dies. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of, lot of deaths this game for sure. I was drinking coke but not drinking coffee. Yeah, I hate coffee. Coffee. Not a fan of the sludge. Office is sitting on way too much gold. You really should recall. And hey, Frank, how you doing? Trindamir has Harold. We need to get to him. Come that all up now. My W's in cooldown. For like one second, that was a little bit unlucky. Nearly had passive over to the center to just about keep her alive, I think, there. They know that Carthus is here if they've been paying attention to the minimap now. We walk past that wave. Yeah. Okay. Surprised Folly went in there 1v3. Maybe he's too used to being a little fed. It should be GG now. Stick over to the center because Carthus needs to recall soon. There's a Drake up in one minute as well that we need to re look to reset for. I can get an Ardent and a Dark Seal. Death Cat, 18 minutes on Carthus with also a uh, Haunting Guys. And completed jungle item and 10 Dark Seal stacks. This guy is incredibly fed. Like that on a Carthus, uh, you would normally see it like what earliest twenty five minutes. Really, is Ardent worth it with Senna? Yeah, it's okay still. The Q also applies the on hit from it as well, so it's okay. It's not like super duper amazing, but there isn't really a better option. But the stats on it are okay anyway. Like the base stats, not including the um, the effect. Just go over, I think. I don't, don't really have to think about this too much. Although Carthus has got a thousand gold bounty, maybe he doesn't want to do a suicide Carthus play. As is alive with one HP. Get me over there. Are they surrendered? No. That was a pretty dominating game. Our solo lanes were like two six or something, but Carthus had like twelve kills, and Senna wasn't doing too bad either. 
Very nice. We got a box. Not bad, decent Yumi game. Did as much damage as our Hecarim top lane. Did more damage than the Trindamir mid. Yeah, that was a pretty decent game. S minus. Wow. Yeah, we did all right. I think Thresh kind of struggled to do what he wanted to do. I think. I think Ezreal only really took Ezreal. I mean, Ezreal's an okay pick anyway, but I think he only took it because I had first picked Yumi, so maybe he was thinking Ezreal would be taken. So he didn't want to play against Yumi as, but Ezreal plus Thresh is kind of meh really early on as well. The only kill that I recall they got in a 2v2 situation was when I was like randomly trying to poke Thresh when I forgot about home cards on Ezreal, but that was basically it, so... Yeah, if you were going to play with a with a Thresh, would like more burst with that, like a Lucian or a Callista or a Draven, something like that would be much nicer in my opinion. Mm.